COVID-19 myths versus facts. Most of the time what you hear from your locals isn't the truth. You know the public talk. So, today we will be diving in the pool of COVID's vaccine and will tell apart the myths from the truth so, it could help you make up your mind. So, let's COVID the myths, sorry I mean vaccine it. Rushed myth. First, let's talk about the most common one. The development process of the vaccines was rushed and is not safe to take. Fact, it is kind of true. Just kidding, yeah. The development was completed in record time, but it didn't skip any of the standard steps, which are required for creating any kind of vaccine. On the clinical trials, it was tested on more than 70,000 people, so there is no way the results could be wrong. The vaccines had to go through rigorous safety and efficacy standards of the Food and Drug Administration, aka FDA, before they could be made public for safety precautions. The other thing which made its delivery faster was the availability of resources. Thanks to the coronavirus wide spreading, the vaccine development was heavily funded. For faster results, the vaccine was overlapped meaning they just didn't sit on waiting for one result, instead they ran multiple tasks and tests at the same time. And on the last fact, the scientist didn't need to start researching from the scratch, because, a study was already made on respiratory diseases like, Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, SARS, Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, MERS, including the most recent trending coronavirus. So, from all these facts, taking COVID vaccine is totally safe despite its record development time. DNA changer, myth, it alters your DNA. Fact. The first thing you should know, that COVID vaccine can't change your DNA because they are simply mRNA, which means they are just messengers. Now if you are a medical student you would know its limitations, but if you are not, mRNA is just an instruction guide, which means it never really enters the cell's nucleus, where your DNA is placed. In other words, it cannot alter your DNA, cause, it does not have the access to it. So, now the vaccine doesn't enter DNA, then how it works? Hey! That is a really good question. Remember they are just instruction guides, it only guides your immune system into making a specific type of protein or you can call it a spike, that is found on the surface of the coronavirus. Now with the help of this spike, when the virus will enter your body, it won't be able to stick to your body anymore and hence will be destroyed by your superhero, immune system, or will be forced to get out. And for the mRNA vaccine that you have taken, it will also get broken down into pieces as its guidance is done. The only mRNA vaccines that I know are Pfizer and Moderna, so before you hype any of the other vaccines, just check out its working procedure, so you could ease your mind. By the way, they all are approved by FDA, so there is no need of worrying at all. COVID giver. Myth. It is the most bizarre COVID myth that I've come across that is, it can give you COVID-19. Facts. The fact which makes this myth remain as a myth is, if you get to caught coronavirus from the vaccine, that means it contains a live virus string or a sample of it. Since there are no strings attached in a live form or weekend or dead form in all of the vaccines approved from the FDA, it is impossible to get COVID-19 from it. So, tell me how is it going to make you sick if it doesn't contain the virus string? Now you have a local that told you he, she got coronavirus after taking the vaccine dose. Well, it really didn't happen that way. It takes two to three weeks for making the antidote by your immune system, so it possible for your local that he, she caught coronavirus from the surrounding before or after taking the dose and simply didn't had much time to prepare itself for the war inside. So, if you get caught coronavirus, it's not the vaccine's fault. Egg protein container. Myth. The vaccine contains egg protein. Fact. Most of the flu vaccinations are made and grown inside a hen's egg, that's what makes flu vaccination bad for those with egg protein allergies. Since we are talking about COVID-19 vaccinations, not flu vaccination. These vaccinations are not based and grows inside a hen's egg, 
So for those who are allergic to egg protein, it is safe to use. The vaccines that I am concerned about that are not based on eggs hen are Pfizer, AstraZeneca, and Moderna. So, if you are hyping in another vaccine make sure to check out the web. Severe side effects. Myth. The vaccination causes severe side effects. Fact. The severe side effects caused by vaccination are really rare and are shown by a minority of people. On the bright side, the doctors will let you stay for 15 minutes after vaccination, so they could monitor you briefly. Have you noticed I said severe, so what are the normal side effects that are experienced by the majority? These include fever, chills headache, weakness, swelling in your arm, pain, and redness, etc. Just remember, the common side effects are not the same caused by allergic reaction neither with the severe side effects and will go away after a few days. But if you do show allergic to the vaccination, go to your hospital and the doctors will give you epinephrine or an EpiPen for the cure, and don't take the second dosage. So, there is no harm in trying the approved vaccines. Makes women infertile. Myth. On the last, here comes the most important myth that is needed to be discussed. People talk that it makes women infertile. Fact. So, is it true? Let's get to the root of this myth. Shall we? It was first given by doctors. Wolfgang Waterg and Mike Yedin in which they declared that a protein in Pfizer causes disturbance in the placenta of pregnant women, and results in making them sterile. On the fact side, the protein that is present in Pfizer and the protein that causes sterility are two different proteins. In fact, the vaccine is made of mRNA and is only a guide. The protein it contains shows no resemblance to the harmful protein that causes sterility. And by the way, do I have to remind you every time it's approved by FDA? For your surety of mind, the vaccine has been taken over by millions of people, and no case or evidence is present that the vaccine caused sterility in women. I hope I made your mind clear about the bizarre myths. And if you're suffering from COVID then you should probably get yourself one of the vaccines. Now if you want to save someone's day, mention down your thoughts in the comment section and at the end press the like button. Also, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the notifications bell to be informed of our new videos. Till then, it's goodbye.